Hey everyone, welcome back. This is going to be CC Cycle 2, Week 24, Memory Work Ideas, Review Game, and At Home Ideas for the Week. This is our last week. We have accomplished so much, as in every year I'm always amazed by the time we get to this point with how much we have taken in, all the hard work that we've done as uh, lead learners and our kiddos teachers, and then our kiddos as well. It's just an amazing feat and it always feels good to get here to spring when it just starts warming up and you want to be outside a little more to be wrapping this up already. So here we are with our last week. For math this week, we are going to be learning the identity law and we sing it to the tune of Polly Wally Doodle and the tune goes like this. The identity law for addition states A plus zero equals A. The identity law for multiplication states a times one equals A. The identity law for addition states A plus zero equals A. The identity law for multiplication states A times one equals A. Basically, we're just getting across that whether you add zero or multiply it just one time, you still have A. And so uh, that's a good concept for our kiddos to get a grasp of. No matter how big the number is, if you just have one of it, it's still the same number. And no matter how big the number is, if you add zero to it, it's still the same number. And so that is the identity law. And I will just draw that up on the board and go through that. For English, we are learning an interjection. And we sing this to the tune of La Cucaracha. And it sounds like this. An interjection, an interjection is a word or phrase used as a strong expression, a strong expression of feeling or emotion. Cha, cha, cha. What I like to do though, and what I'll probably do this week is just draw up on the board, just a few examples of interjections. Uh, I put them in these little pal boxes because it makes them pop out. And usually that's how an interjection is in conversation. And then you can kind of say some, wow, or cool, or ouch. Uh, these are all just different examples of interjections. Okay, for history, we're learning about the end of the apartheid. And so what I did our first year through is I had my daughter write out some cards that kind of showed what we're talking about with each of these sentences in the history statement. That way we could get a visual of it and kind of go from there. So the first part of it starts with when this took place. So in 1994, we did that, you can draw out the year. Then we had, we drew the map of Africa and kind of highlighted the area that we're talking about. At that time, president was President de Klerk, and that's what we talk about in the song. And then it goes to, when we say free elections, we just drew out what the election looks like. Kind of talked about that when we presented this history, history statement, just the, the power and the amazing opportunity that it is to have elections and what the difference is between a free election and not. Then we talk about Nelson Mandela. So she wrote out his name. Then we have the flag of South Africa because Nelson Mandela became the first black president of South Africa. And I just drew out little people to show what that means there were many leaders before and he was the first black president and then on the next page we're showing apartheid so that's where we have division where different people were on different sides of the line of doing life in any way and then the song ends with the apartheid ending and everybody could be together and so that is how we cover history we just go through those as we say the statements in the song you could do any version of those pictures or you can use the link that i have in the description below that is already uh, pictures made out of each of the history statements that we've had this year and so you can use that i'll have that link in the district in the description below for Latin this week, we are learning our first conjugations, future perfect tense. So we use our crown that has our arrows pointing up 
and we uh, use imaginary candles that we can blow out after the end. So the crown reminds us that we're singing it to the tune of happy birthday. This is our birthday crown that we put on. Arrows remind us that it's future tense. And then when we blow out the imaginary candle, that's just like blowing out candles on the birthday cake. So those are all things that remind us of the tune and which tense it is. And same as we did last week. So that is what we'll do for Latin. Just sing it to the tune that CC provides and use those as visual aids. All right. For timeline this week, we have a huge timeline uh, topic, and that is all of the U.S. presidents. And so I actually got these with our timeline cards. If you have the timeline cards, this is a great thing to use. And on week 24, I usually will just create a board where I have these laid out in order of presidents so that as we review that in class, uh, we can point to each of the presidents, look at their pictures and their names, and that way we can cover timeline that way in class. Great way to even do it at home. Um, and then we just use the tune that CC provides. I can see if I can add a link to that from CC Connected in the description below. I've heard a few different versions of tunes that CC has put the president song to. Uh, my best tip with that is just pick what works for your family and stick with the one you learn it to initially. That way you can just get it uh, firm down for every year and you just know which tune you're using. And yeah, so use these pictures. You could also just, there are lists of presidents that you could bring to class or even banners that I've seen. Um, I've used in the past just from like the dollar store that has a list of a banner that you could hang in class. Many different options of how you could present this, but learn the tune, get that down, and then can use a visual like this for going over it for timeline. For geography, we are learning about Southern Africa, fitting with our uh, history statement this week. And so we sing this to the tune of The Lion Sleeps Tonight from Lion King. And it sounds like this. Southern Africa, Namibia, Botswana, Mozambique, Lesotho and South Africa. This is Southern Africa. A wee mumbo way. What I will usually use um, in class when I present these areas is I will use the little figurines that we collect throughout the year. I've shown them in previous videos, but they're just almost like this small of little critters. And so I'll have them pick out giraffes, elephants, different animals that you might see in this area. And we'll use that as we go around to the different areas and as we're singing the tune. So that is how we're gonna cover geography. And for science, we have what units are used to measure electricity. And so we have ohms, so we take out our O. Ohms measure resistance. Then we have volts, we're gonna do a V. Volts measure voltage. Then we have amps, we're gonna make an ASL A. Amps measure current. So we go like this with our A, like a current. And watts, we're going to make a W, watts measure power. So you could do like this, like just show like power when you do that. Or you could do what we did at last cycle, last time through the cycle is go like you're turning on a light switch and then the light's coming on. So you can sing this to the tune of Oompa Loompa and it sounds like this. Ohms measure resistance. Volts measure voltage, amps measure current, and watts measure power. And that's how we cover it for class and at home. I got the tune from Shelly Normand and the motions from Nicole Dragu. So um, that is where those originated, and I love them. They show kind of what's going on. Uh, I think I could add a visual aid too in the description if that would be helpful for you and your class or your group this week, I will add that down below. And I think that is everything for this week. For review this week, I would suggest doing something that kind of cultivates everything that we've learned so far in a fun way, like a game that could earn prizes. Um, usually uh, communities get together maybe on this day and do like a big group thing. Uh, my first year in CC, we had little stations in the gym where each of the tutors kind of planned a, a fun game to play and did a, each of the tutors had different 
uh, subjects or weeks that they were assigned to for covering at their station. And then once the kids answered the question, they'd get to pick a little prize out of a bin or the community box. And it's things like stickers, slinkies, even candy, all the fun stuff. So that is a great idea to do, whether you do it with your community or at home uh, with your own group and kiddos. Uh, fun way to wrap up the year and to celebrate uh, all that we've learned and all the hard work that's been put in from the kiddos. Okay, so that's my suggestion on review. Oh, if you don't want to do a big group thing, you could always stick to something like a bingo or a sequence game that covers a lot of ground. And I've talked about those before in other videos, so I won't go into too much detail. I can put some links in the description below. And uh, you can also check out my video on review games uh, that kind of goes into a little bit more depth about that too. So that is what I would recommend for review. For Magic School Bus and videos that you could watch this week, there is one on called Gets Charged, and there's another one about computers called it Gets Programmed. Since we're learning about electricity for science, that would be fitting. So the one about electricity and Gets Charged is uh, season four, episode nine, and then the one about computers is season four, episode 11. So those are two fun things that you could watch on the side this week. Uh, if you are looking for different books, there is a book you could read, obviously, Who Was Nelson Mandela would be great. But also Nelson Mandela, Long Walk to Freedom is another book, or um, Nelson Mandela's favorite African folktales. Those are some great options for books. And I will also include a link in the description below for other ideas as well. Okay, I think that's it for books and things like that. If you are following along with the indescribable devotions each week, you could do page 34 and that's all about kids. And for eating our geography this week, since we are studying about Southern Africa, the national dish of South Africa is called baboti. And it's basically a minced meat curry dish that's topped with an egg and it looks delicious. They have a lot of the hints of even like the spices that come from Malay, Indonesia, and just Dutch ideas, influences in general. So they use a lot of the cinnamons and the curries and the nutmegs and cumin and turmeric, that kind of thing. Those are the kind of spices that you'll see a lot of in that area. So soured milk and yogurt are also common drinks over there. They do a lot of um, grilling of meats. But if you wanted to make a dish this week, it might be kind of fun to try out the baboti. And that is my suggestion for things to eat this week for week 24. And I think that's everything for this week. So I hope you guys have a great uh, spring and a great summer, great time off, great break. If you want to stay in touch over the next few months, uh, be sure and check out our uh, Homestead Fashion YouTube, where we'll be uh, doing lots more building and taking advantage of the time where we're not having the ground covered in snow and freezing cold <gasps> weather conditions. Um, so we'll be doing a lot more building, a lot more outdoor projects and animal tending, our family has grown a lot in the last few months. We now have bunnies and pigs and guineas and ducks and chickens. And I didn't know that we, I didn't expect that we would grow this fast, but uh, it, it is happening fast and it's exciting. And uh, we're sharing the journey over there on the Homestead Fashion YouTube channel. So we'd love for you to stay connected with us over there over the summer. I'm also going to be sharing some uh some of our best practices, things that resources that we have been really beneficial to our homeschool year this year and uh, favorite games to play during the break, things like that. So you can be looking forward to some of those videos coming out in the coming weeks as well. Have a great day, great week. We'll see you next time. Bye.